I don't know if you guys ever go through like some of my videos and you just read the comments, man, like there's so many, I'm going to say over 50% or more is, is always best for buck. I don't like, I get it, but like, I listen, I watch a lot of videos. I watch videos on watches. I watch videos on cars. Um, and when I read some of those comments, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't rarely see like best bang for like what the best bang for buck watch or, um, and these are all, listen, it's not like watches and cars and the home theater is a totally, you know, different type of hobby from each other because they're very similar. They're, these hobbies are expensive. This is a, like a home theater is an expensive hobby. Like I collect watches. Um, watches is an expensive hobby. People collect cars. Cars is an expensive hobby. The community behind watches and cars is, it's so different than the home theater hobby, audio hobby. Like there's so much, there's <laughs> so much, I don't want to be like toxicness in the audio hobby, the home theater hobby, but it's like everybody's always trying to shit on somebody in, in home theater and AV. Like, dude, you can make your own damn speaker. You know? Like brands like Perlison wouldn't exist. Brands like Ascendo wouldn't exist if everything was so easy to make yourself. And there's always people like that. They're just like, dude, make your own shit. You're spending too much. Blah, 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 blah. Best bang for bucks. Best bang for buck. Like if you're shopping in this, if you're shopping for speakers and, and you're looking at an Arendelle, if you're looking at um, a Perlison, you got the money. You you saved your pennies already. You got your spare change. You saved it up. You're you're shopping in this price bracket. But like so many people get so much hate on on products that cost like over five hundred dollars. It's like five hundred bucks and above. People get so pissy about it. It's the craziest thing, man. It's the craziest thing in this hobby, and especially subwoofers. It's just like man, just being a YouTuber and just seeing the the vitriol that I get for the for the products that i review because it's over x amount of dollars like it's crazy is the amount of hate that people put on other people or just just products in general about how much they cost or what they think it can you can get better from making your own or you can get better from spending less or you can just it's always about you can get better from spending less and it's funny because most most of the i want to say like 95 percent of the comments is just like you can get better for less, even though I've never heard that speaker. I've never heard that process you're talking about. I've never used that process, that processor or speaker, but you can get better because I have this one. It's $200. So why would you spend $30,000 for this when you can spend $200 for that? Even though I've never used the other product, I've never used the more expensive product, which is blows my mind. Like, I don't get it. When I go, when I watch a car, when I watch a watch video, about timepieces um sure can you get a our, our paddocks like one hundred and fifty thousand dollars? yeah they're very expensive you know these hype watches but can you get a casio for like twenty dollars at walmart yes what's going to tell better time the twenty dollar watch is going to tell better time everybody knows this it's a quartz watch you know your casio is going to tell better time but there's like artistry and there's like um handmade movements that go into your paddock uh, there's materials there's all kinds of stuff go that goes into that is it worth one hundred fifty thousand dollars? yeah depending on how you asking and and uh you know how much money they have at the bank account it's probably affordable to them it's justifiable for them when i'm frequent in the watch world like i don't hear that that often i i but but we get it so much in the in the av world it's like it's so bad. It's, it's like disheartening sometimes. Like most of my comments are always so negative, man. Uh, nothing is wrong with DIY, but I see. But if I see something that costs ten grand and I buy it, you can't be mad. It's my money. Exactly. So many people get pissed off. So many people like to spend your money for you. So many people just like to to, to crap on products that cost the X amount of money. Like it, like it, listen, if you if you don't live in that price bracket, if you're not living in that world. Man, there's no need to shit on it. And chances are, it's probably better than the shit that you got in your price bracket. I mean, that's why it's in that price bracket. I would much rather enjoy my movies and make my own damn speakers. Like, not only do I have to have, like, fucking, like, woodworking tools and stuff like that. You know, congrats for all you guys that make your own stuff, but I ain't got time for that shit. When I was younger, listen, when I was younger in car audio, I would make my own subwoofers and all. And all I would make boxes. I used to fabricate dashboards and... 
um, Dora panels to fit my speakers in. I would, I used to do um, uh, the fiberglass and all that. I used to sand it. I used to watch all those uh, sound man videos and everything, all that stuff. You know, I, that's that that's back when Clarion. Do you guys remember um, those Clarion Dolby Pro Logic? I had a home theater in my car back in the day. I used to fabricate all that. Shit. So I get it. That shit's very time consuming. In my older age, in my 40s, getting close to 50, I ain't got time for that DIY shit. Like, get out of here with all that stuff, man. <laughs> let me let me just go buy something and enjoy it. It's just you DIY folks out there, stop trying to shit on people for for having the money to buy the nice shit. Like, why do DIY people always got to shit? On other people, it's the crisis. Not it's like it's like the DIY people and the internet direct people. You two motherfuckers always shitting on people that that are buying nice stuff. Blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind.